Good afternoon guys, we're coming to you today uh, from Sandusky, Ohio. We're at Ghostly Manor Thrill Center right now. We were trying to go to Cedar Point today, but uh, according to their website, they had reservations available and then when we got on and tried to book them, it would let us go all the way through to the end and then would tell us that there was no availability. So I don't know if there's a glitch in their system or their app or what, but uh, we weren't unable to get into Cedar Point today. So if you guys could go ahead and do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. We'll be doing a lot of videos from other places in the area so you guys know what else there is in town other than just Cedar Point. But I'm going to show you what the outside of the Ghostly Manor Thrill Center looks like. They've got a lot of haunted houses out here. There's an escape room. There's putt-putt. There's bounce houses. There's a play area. There's skating. The pricing is right here. We decided to do a $11 skate and play package uh, for the kids today. So they're going to check that out. And here's what the outside of Ghostly Manor looks like in the fall. Then they have their haunted houses. They've got a haunted house right here. They've got some more stuff. There's another haunted house right here. That's the front of the building over there. Off to the side here. I believe they got another haunted house in the back. This is one of the best haunted house areas in the the area other than in Fremont where the Haunted Hydro is but there's another thing back there you can see through the fence so I'm gonna go in Ghostly Manor here show you around they have a lot of loud music going on and it's all copyrighted so what I'm gonna do is just film while I'm in there walking around to show you guys everything and I'll do a voiceover I think I forgot to say that this is about four miles away from Cedar Point so if you're in the area, it's right on Route 250 um, by Menards and down the street from the Sandusky Mall. So if you're in the area, it's a short drive from Cedar Point, real easy to get to, something to do for your kids on a rainy day especially, like Friday was up here. Uh, the park got closed early at 2 o'clock. There was flooding. We had a nor'easter come in and cause the lake levels to rise and flood out part of the park. So that would have been a perfect day to bring your kids over here. They can run around and play like maniacs, and I'll show you what that looks like now. So as you walk in here, they got some signs up on the, on the side here, deals and things. Uh, the counter is over here to the left, and then you walk into the building. They've got, it looks like an eye from Lord of the Rings there, and everything is dark and like black light style. Uh, as you come in, right to the right here is the putt-putt area, we'll go through there in a second. To the left over here is the skating rink. You can see everybody skating around, having a great time. Yep, there they are, going around in circles. Uh, the music is very loud in here too. So, and they're usually they're playing all kinds of uh, modern songs. Every now and then they'll throw some oldies in there, to have a good time. And then as we continue back, we go back here into the haunted house. So this area here, I talked to a gentleman. He said this haunted house back here is all automated, but it's one of top 10 haunted houses in the entire United States. So I would definitely check that out. He also said that it's $11, I believe, to do the haunted house back here. And they have a little book to sign in and tips if you want it. He said during the summer, there's a one live actor in there. Here we are walking into the putt-putt area, and this is all black lit and a lot of art on the walls. As you walk through, there's some air cannons that are set off as you walk through, and they'll scare the crap out of you. Um, this is a really unique putt-putt course. So the balls that they give you are glow-in-the-dark as well, so it makes it a little cooler too. It's not completely dark in there, obviously, as you can see from the video, but uh, it's a different style of putt-putt than probably what you're used to, obviously. Some of the artwork on the walls is uh, very detailed. It looks like they put a lot of time into it. It's kind of a small little putt-putt course hidden off to the side there. Um, so it's cool to go through and check out if you get it in a package. It's definitely worth coming in and playing a round or two in here and having a good time. So after that, we head back this way. Um, 
here is the XD Theater. It's like a 3D ride that you can do. There's the prize counter here for the arcade tickets that you can win in the arcade. The bathrooms. And then over to the right here, they've got a laser. Um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like an escape room. But it's a laser room, so you have to try to get through and hit a buzzer on the other side without touching a laser and set off the alarm. And to the left of that area is the 3D arena, so you can play video games that are in 3D with your friends. And across from that is the concessions area, and then that takes us into the arcade right here. It's not a very large arcade, but it's not tiny either. There's quite a few games in here. There's some skee ball, um, some other ticket games here for the kids to play, spin the wheel, some basketball games, and then some video games over here on the other side. And I'll walk around the other side of that, show you that little area over here. There's another little nook of video games here. Yeah, right there. You got the claw games, some more skill games over there. And then down here, on the other side of the picnic area is the play area. So this picnic area is where they have the birthday parties. Uh, you can get your own table reserved and all that good stuff. Down here, here's the rules uh, for the play area and the bounce house area. Now the play area is up front. It's three levels. I'd say it's probably about 15, 15 feet tall. Maybe a little more, 18 or so. I wouldn't quite say it's all the way to 20, but it is pretty good size. Um, and they got little areas for you to put your shoes and for the parents to sit around so you can keep an eye on your kids. We'll get a better look at it here from the side. You can see all the way through. There's all kinds of goodies in there for them to have a good time with. And then back behind the play area, Behind the play area here, we've got uh, the back side of the play area. Behind the play area is the bounce houses. There used to be a couple more bounce houses than what they have right now. I don't know if they just needed more room for birthday parties or if they had a couple bounce houses go bad. But um, we'll spin around here and they got a little kitty one that doesn't have any slides or anything right here. It's just got some obstacles and things to play around in. And then to the right of that is a double slide, single slide. Best day ever. Um, but yes, yeah, there's a single slide right here. And then to the left of that is a castle with a double slide. So there's a play area in the middle, bounce house area in the middle, and then each side has a slide that you can go down. There's a ladder inside there to climb up and go down the slides on the other side. So for $11 to get the skating, the play area, and the bounce houses, um, it's not too bad of a deal, especially on a rainy day when you're at Cedar Point or something. It's nice to have other stuff to do instead of being stuck in your hotel room. So we're going to take another look at the skating floor here to the left and give you guys a better view of the overall layout of the entire place here. So down there is the concessions and the virtual reality. And over there is the haunted house area across the way. And on our way out, passing the giant eye, there's a little skeleton here saying goodbye. And then on the wall, there's a lot of newspaper clippings from the ghostly manor when it first opened. And then all of the haunt and uh, haunted house stuff that they have and the awards they've won from the city of Sandusky and the area around here. So it's pretty well established. It's a pretty serious haunted house in the fall. So if you're you're up this way, you definitely need to check it out. So that was it for Ghostly Manor. Um, masks are still required inside, just so you guys know. There's a $2 charge each for the training wheels for the skates, for skating. And what were our options? Uh, normal roller skates, roller blades, and then a Razor scooter, right? None, they didn't cost any extra. You could choose whatever you wanted, and if you didn't like what you had, you could change it for free. Not everybody, uh, everybody have a good time? Yeah.
We like it? Thumbs up? Yeah, I'm so funny. Can I have my sunglasses? Sure, sunglasses. Are there. So now we're going to head down to Dockside Cafe, grab something to eat, and get some dinner down by the water, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. We just got down here to Dockside. Nice little area. I've never been down here before. Nice little condos down here by the water, all the boats. We're about four minutes from Cedar Point. Or, I'm sorry, four miles. Cool little place down here. I've seen Cedar Point from down here. Yeah, you will once we get there. About a 10 minute drive down here from Cedar Point. I think it's uh, four miles. So about the same as Ghostly Manor was from Cedar Point. <clears throat> down right here on the water, a nice little spot. Cedar Point, right over there. A pretty sweet little seat right here on the end. I love nice you, Cedar Point. Okay, so. Cheeseburger. No cheese. Yeah, you leave it here now. Uh, lettuce and onion. Okay, if I can't get that, we're just. Just a cheeseburger with lettuce, ketchup, and mustard? Yeah. And you just got a regular one, right? I got one with um, onion and lettuce. Onion and lettuce. So, was it like a spring mix on there? Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Mm. That's a bun. That looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. How's the burger? So crusty, musty. All right. What are these chicken nachos? Those are pretty big. Told you. Yeah, they're big. Just and then down. we got the uh, walleye tacos. Pico. What is that? Uh, lime aioli. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say that? Yeah, Some pico that. lettuce and lime aioli. Here, tempura, tempura, uh -huh. fried walleye. Put this underneath. So we just finished our meals at uh, Dockside, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. How was everybody's food? Delicious. How was your burger? <laughs> was, it, was it the best? Was it the best burger you've ever had? No, uh, no, but it was it was good. really good. It was, it was up there on the list. Yeah. Solid ten out of ten. All right, ten out of ten. All right, babe. It was nice and crispy. Oh, nice and crispy burgers. Got so it. So was the bun. It the was bun so looked good. like it was a sweet it bun. It was a brioche bun. The bun oh. was so good. crispy and. See. How was your chicken nachos? They were wonderful. wonderful. They were. Typically, I would have got the shrimp, but I wanted to share with everyone, and I know that the kids would not like shrimp. She's nicer than I am. I would have just got what I wanted. Oh. Them kids could starve. <laughs> Dad! My, my walleye tacos were probably the best fish tacos I've ever had. The, uh, the french fries. Oh, well, hold on. We'll get there. The French oh, fries. Yeah, yeah. The French fries were the surprise of the night. We're saving that for the end. Oh, sorry. Um, no, the, the walleye tacos were delicious. Um, the lime aioli sauce was phenomenal, but the um, pico? Uh, pico was amazing. I don't know. It, it they nailed it. It was really good. The um, the whole thing put together was a it was a it was a great taco. I loved it. I, there was two of them. Comes in uh, sets of two. <clears throat> and then the french fries were hand cut potato french fries but they had some sort of seasoning on them i think they were like a steak like a steak seasoning would that would you agree with that right you know like a steak something or, or other mm -hmm. um and they were perfect they weren't mushy they weren't too crispy um cooked to perfection one of the best meals i think i've had in a long time so especially for like a little dockside place oh, and it, it was, was mostly yeah and it was a beautiful night but mostly like burgers and dogs so uh, I would highly recommend Dockside if you're in town for, for Cedar Point. And it, like I said, it's a, a four mile drive, so it's nine, 10 minutes. <clears throat> Definitely check it out, it'll be worth your while. And it's beautiful views of Cedar Point and being right on the water. So until next time. Pet friendly.